I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we SVR. Range Rover. Go for a drive. 2018 Land Rover Range Rover Sport SVR. Yes. Auto bibliography. No, that's no? another one. Okay. Autobiography is a different one. So I got most of it right? Most of it, yeah, actually. I'm uh, surprised. Uh, this is good, man. But actually, what's the name of this? What's the order and why is it special? Land Rover Range Rover Sport SVR because we have that ridiculous engine. Special vehicle operations. Yes, but the R is the operations. You know what though, I get it. S and V, special vehicle operations. O doesn't look nearly as cool as R, so it's like special vehicle operations racing. Exactly. This car sounds amazing. It's also an SUV, not a car, but it sounds amazing. Motor. Five liter, supercharged V8. Horsepower and torque. 575 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque, which are exactly the same as the F-Type SVR, which is hilarious. I want you to hit Cliche Corner real quick, rip it, get some exhaust, and then we're gonna talk about our sponsor for this episode. Full send down Cliche and then some sponsors? Yes. Dynamic mode and full send on Cliche. Oh my God, this handles so well. There's yeah. oversteer in an SUV. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This handles so well. It shouldn't handle for the size of it. Like it shouldn't handle at all. It should be off-road. It should be a tower. Like this is a building. But it's flat, good steering input. I would love to compare this to like a track hawk or something. Yeah, I would love to, because this is insane. Maybe, got, maybe not as fast. No, probably not as fast, but 575 around, horsepower. Around a track. Yeah, this is still pretty damn fast, but we'll get to that a little bit later. First, Vincero. This episode is sponsored by Vincero Watches. They hooked us up with watches on our F-Type video, and I've been wearing it ever since. So we are both wearing the Chrono S in rose gold, which is my favorite. I get a lot of compliments for this from like my family and friends, like actually. Even in the comments, we've been getting compliments like nonstop. Yuri, yeah. what watch are you wearing? Check those videos. We've done at least 20 where he's been wearing it. Yeah, uh, ever since I got the watch, I've been wearing it. I put it next to my car keys so that when I go driving, I want to have like a nice driving watch because car guys are watch guys and now I think I'm kind of a watch guy now. I think you are too. I'm a Vincero watch guy. You legitimately haven't taken it off in any video since the one that we filmed originally. I actually have a bit of a watch tan. Let's see if I can. Oh, there's proof. It might be kind of hard to see, but. I got a pretty hardcore watch tan. So what's the coupon code for discounted watches? Go to vincerowatches.com slash straight pipes for 15% off your entire order. So if you order multiple watches, 15% off. Yeah, and they're the best company because they support the straight pipes. That's right. And I'm, I'm dead serious. I know you are. They are the best. Yeah, they are. Because they support the straight pipes. And the watch is really nice and get a lot of compliments. Yeah, exactly. And back to the review. Full wait, set. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Put that watch on your other hand, bro. All right, one second. Oh, so much better now. Full send, zero to 100 in 4.5 seconds for this crazy SUV. This is fast, but it's not as fast as the Jaguar F-Type SVR. Because it's an SUV. But does it have the same engine? Yes, it does. But it's- Does it weigh the same? Absolutely no. but not. Like, but I'm just saying, for two, car, for two vehicles with the same engine, it's noticeably slower, but it is very fast. Yes, and you know what else is noticeably different? The, the exhaust. exhaust. It's okay. so different. So the F-Type SVR was the best exhaust in the world. This is also the best exhaust in the world, but not quite as the best. Yeah. <laughs> so the F-Type SVR, you'd get up to 5,000 RPM, let off, and they tap the gas pedal enough so the RPM didn't move. But in this one, it's completely different. You can't do that. What you have to do in this one is floor it and then let off between three and 4,000. That's it. That's the only way to do it. To get the little crackles. Yeah, and they're so loud. But do you know what this one does better than the F-Type SVR? Uh, the sound between shifts? Yeah, when you were like shift really high in the RPM, it's, oh like, my God. it's like someone's starting a chainsaw between every gear. This thing sounds like a toolbox full of tools rolling down stairs. That's what it sounds like. While being sawed in half by a chainsaw. Pretty much, yeah. This thing sounds unreal. And you know what, Yuri? A little bit of sound. Oh my God. It sounds so ridiculous. But when you turn off the exhaust, it sounds so wimpy from behind. It sounds yeah. like this. That is what it sounds like. That is an authentic representation of the sound. But it still sounds all right inside, but from behind. <laughs> yeah. Always leave it on. And it stays on. We turned off the car, turned it back on, and it stayed on. And where's that button, Yuri? 
<laughs> in the digital screen. Yeah. We have two of them. It's pretty much the exact same infotainment as the Range Rover Velar. Yep, pretty much. So watch that video to learn more about the infotainment. We'll get way more into it. We're just gonna touch upon it here. This is one of the flattest handling SUVs, like the Porsche Macan. However, did you know that this one's also been on the Nürburgring? There's actually a Nürburgring lap time for a friggin' SUV. This isn't the record holder, is it? No. But it's probably the loudest one. It probably got in trouble. Oh yeah, they probably had to put like a decibel meter and got in trouble and all that kind of stuff, yeah. This also has the same ZF 8-speed transmission, and I think it shifts just the same speed as the F-Type SVR. It's got the exact same paddles. Yes, however, they don't cut my finger on this one, so I like them. It also has digital gauges where the F-Type SVR had analog gauges. I noticed the digital gauges are a little laggier. They look way better, but yeah, I agree. I disagree. Really? I like I like the analog gauges. Well, I like analog gauges. I just think these look better. But we got a heads-up display in this one, which we didn't in the other one. And you can customize everything in there. You can have your map, you can have your music, and you can have your car displayed in it. I guess I should also mention that this does rewind satellite radio stations. But what I didn't know before the F-Type SVR, when you go to your music screen, here, remember we complained how you had to drag across, so it was yes. kind of a fail? All you have to do is click these three dots Go to replay controls and it always starts up in replay mode. Oh, and that's amazing. You cycle through the favorites on your steering wheel and you can always rewind with the tap of a button. Maybe we should talk about the steering wheel a little bit because it's also special. SVR badge and some gloss black, but that's not what's special. We have buttons that change. Yeah, just like the Velar, so watch that video again. It is a little bit confusing, but that's all I'll say. If you own it, you get used to it and it's so impressive to other people. Like this is probably the nicest looking, most impressive SUV. It is, it's really, really stunning. When I got in it, I was shocked. Are these SUV race seats? It is, it's actually race buckets in an SUV. It looks a lot like the Tesla. It does actually, just the seats, yeah. the scoopness of it. Back to what makes this a little bit more special on the outside and the driving, this does get the SVR sports air suspension. Yeah, you can dump it really low and really high. And my favorite part is you can actually drive in the lowest mode until you take a turn and then it kind of puts you back up, but you can actually drive in access height and there's a button to do that. And I absolutely love it because the Velar did not let me drive in the most gangster access height mode. Gangster. It is gangster. It's actually, this is a gangster SUV. Gangster is the more gangster way to say it. Is it though? It is now. Gangsta is like a tw 2007 like Jay-Z thing. Oh, so this like is, probably this, the real thing. This is 2018 YouTube, bro. What makes a Range Rover a Range Rover? Low range gearbox, we have that. So you can actually take this thing off road and I will shortly. There's no point. What do you mean there's no point? You put this thing in full out hype mode for off road mode and you just send it off road. Well, they put that stuff there so that it can do it. They don't want you to do it. Yeah, but we have hill descent. We have everything to do yeah, it so we can do it. Because it has to have that. But I'm gonna do it anyways to prove a point. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> How about the box test? Let's find out. 13. That's Kevsky Pops' box. Nice watch. Thanks, it's a Vincero. How do you get that box? Uh, you just buy it on Patreon. But let's make sure it fits. Come on, Kevsky Pops. Your box is gonna fit. I guarantee it. Look at that Range Rover. Look at that watch, though. 13 boxes. That was pretty good. Thanks to the new Patreon guy. Kevsky Pops. Oh, uh, visor test? Visor test. Three, two, one. No! Double visor though. Oh yes, double visor. So it's a pass. Uh, it's a full, no, gimmick pass is yeah, a pass. Yeah, gimmick, gimmick pass. I thought a gimmick pass was a fail. No, gimmick pass is a pass, but it's not a full pass. But it's also a 575 horsepower SUV pass. Yeah, 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 send it. What's another SUV that you can buy that's like this? Trackhawk. There's a Trackhawk and there's an X5M BMW. That's about it. But there's a Dodge Durango that's fast too. Yeah, but it's not this fast. How about the Macan and the Cayenne? No, they don't sound this crazy and they're not this fast. Actually, they're probably faster, but they don't sound this good. Okay, how about the uh, Mercedes one though? Oh, the GLE 63? Okay, okay. That also competes Dude, with this. Dude, we should do a fast yes! SUV shootout. Manufacturers, give us a call, send us your cool cars. We're gonna make a thing of it. The fastest SUVs you have. Those are our favorite SUVs. Also, you guys gotta pay for gas, cause <laughs> yeah. like these cars take up so much gas. We've gone through half a tank and like, 20 minutes! You guys realize we're poor. We don't have rich car money for gas. Like, this is hurting. I did the math. For us daily driving all of these things, it's the equivalent of daily driving a Hellcat. That's why I think other journalists do like cheaper cars yeah, every yeah, now yeah. and then. Like, I think we just haven't learned yet. No, no, we have. Get ready for electric car and hybrid car month. September, October? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Patreon. <laughs> Patreon. Vincero. The more Vincero yeah, yeah, yeah. watches you buy, Check the more that. gas we get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we have more tests. Which one? Rex test. Oh yeah, my dog Rex. Rex, do you want to go in the trunk? No, he doesn't want to go in the trunk. <laughs> Good boy, buddy. He didn't want to go in the SUV. It's too expensive for him. SVR means no Rex. That's right. He would shred this thing apart. Small cup of Tim Hortons coffee. 
That's just a fail. Very, no, it fits. Look, the lid oh, doesn't Oh, true. Hit. Yeah, okay. But it's got those cushiony things. But I feel like this one's a little better than the other cushiony things. Is it? Full pass. All right, then. You are the issuing authority on cup holder passes. I'm not. I will allow it. As the exhaust god, I will give you that. And if any other YouTube channels out there, Top Gear Grand Tour, want to do some of our tests, give us a little shout out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all we ask. I'm okay with it. Yeah, the straight pipes cup holder test, straight yeah. pipes visor test, straight pipes box test, straight pipes Rex test. Launch control. Doesn't have it. Can I drive? Yes. But after, I take it off road for a little bit. And some off roading. Are we still in dynamic mode? Uh, yeah, we are actually. Let me raise that up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and go through settings, the infotainment. Through the infotainment, and let's go to uh, Mud Ruts program, which what, is what we're in. What's this? This is rock crawl, no. Uh, cactus sand program, no. Now these are very low profile tires. Comfort program. And these are not off roading tires. Oh my god. <laughs> are we sinking? Oh god. Oh god. This can't get stuck, dude. It's like drifting itself. There's no way this can get stuck. I have no idea. Did you just... lock the diffs? You I locked the diffs. I don't know, man. Put me back in normal mode. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is a Range Rover, so. Oh God, we're actually like off-roading so hard. This is actually amazing. This was like not part of the plan. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Okay, time we'll for you to around, drive. Turn around here. No, you drive me out of here. I'm not responsible for this. So if you think we're soft because we're not good at mudding, this is literally like sports performance tires. Yeah. Where we shouldn't have gone. This is full send down here, and here we go. Right oh. through this. No problem. <laughs> We should not be off-roading this by mistake. No. The fact that it can do this with sports performance tires, 295s might I add. Yeah. So in case you do go to the cottage and you veer off-road, you'll be just fine. This car's going to be so dirty. <laughs> All right, Yuri. We need to return the drive on the road. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to off-road this. I think we need to get a car wash, though. I'm going to start off with the coolest part, this shifter. It is the nicest shifter ever. Usually Range Rover Land Rovers have that weird dial for gears. Yes, they do. I hate that. I love this shifter and it's wrapped. It looks so fancy. Probably the nicest shifter I've ever shifted. But if you're still a fan of those cool circly shifters and stuff, they still make this come in and out for yeah. the off-road modes. You just click and it goes down. So I really want to get into the interior and the exterior. Because they're both stunningly beautiful. What do you like more, the interior or the exterior? I think it's the exterior because it's just so crazy. For me, interior. I love the interior. It's really, really well put together, but the exterior is just so crazy okay, let's looking. start with the interior. All right. We got white seats and they're like race buckety. Yes, they are. They're super comfortable. No massage though, because this is a race SUV. Heated and cooled. And you adjust them through these dynamic buttons. Yeah, it's cool. It's a, a little bit laggy, a little bit gimmicky, but if it's yours, you're definitely going to impress everyone. Oh, this is so impressive. You'll be the hottest Uber in town. Uber? I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they would make enough to cover the gas. No, for sure. The next thing about up here is the glove box. Yeah, the glove box is dual hinged. We got two glove boxes. Technically two, yes. And two buttons for it. On the door panels, we've got this little side compartment. Yeah, it's pretty Pretty nice we actually both get them but it's gloss black the next thing i want to talk about is the center console area Ooh, and the lack of piano black yeah i know you can option it but this one doesn't have it thank you for not optioning that but i think it's because with the white the brushed steel aluminum stuff looks a lot better i love it it actually, looks it's amazing not even, it's not even brushed yeah it is the, this part is okay that part yeah okay it's brushed and non-brushed but you know what my favorite part is yeah i know the fridge really there's a fridge in here and i've stocked it up with my favorite drink what is it it's Heineken 0.0. .0. It is not beer. You like drinking alcohol-free beer? That's your favorite I actually, drink? I hate it. I got it for free. And when I went to Formula One, they were handing these things out. All right, let's pull over and pour that stuff out. Okay. Let's uh, continue driving, I guess. So we do have a fridge, and there's two levels of coldness, which is wild. It is. The next best part is the cup holder area. Yeah, we actually accidentally discovered that that whole thing moves. So we've got a brushed steel cover, which slides back super far. It's probably like a foot long. Yeah, it's way under the dash somewhere. And then the cups can also slide over, and then you have power below there and more storage compartments. It's so cool. I mentioned the white leather on the dash. We have white leather on the steering wheel as well. Do you like it? I like it, but to keep it clean, it would be a nightmare. But whatever, I don't own this. But this compared to the steering wheel on the Velar. Yeah, Remember it had the metal ring on it? Yeah, it was this like one's better. hot and cold. Exactly. We have a massive sunroof, and there's tons of room back there, even for myself at six foot one and a half. Is that considered a sunroof if it's that big? I guess. Moonroof. Moonroof, sunroof. We've got a very nice, adequate sound system. Yeah, Meridian. You can upgrade it. What's cool about the Jaguar Land Rover stuff is there's like four different options for sound systems in your settings, and they all sound different, but they all sound really good. I also like how the rear seats fold down. 
from the side, you've got a little handle there because they're race seats, so they're different. Yeah, you can't do it from the back. But in the back, we have buttons for the air suspension. Lower it and raise it for the load height. That's right. It's super cool. Not that you're going to have to load anything in this. No, you're too rich. Get your butler to do it for you. Yeah. Or get us. Load some boxes in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is probably the first and only time it'll have boxes in it or anything, really. Yeah, or off-roading. <laughs> yeah. We're over here. Here's us washing it. We took care of it. Yeah. We're, we're sorry. That's we're right. not sorry. You know we're what? not sorry. You're welcome. Yeah, that's right. We proved the point. You can off-road this on like performance 21 inch tires all right let's uh finish off with looks yeah okay thank you so carbon fiber hood this is a ten thousand dollar option that's so gangster it's the most gangster thing ever gangster af so it's a carbon fiber hood and you also get carbon all around the outside there's carbon fake vents on the sides yes and they're so good fake vents they're like the fakest thing ever they're not faking anything other than the fact that yes we are 100 percent fake vents i am buying carbon fiber and this is how i'm putting it on that's right and there's carbon fiber all around the back the front the sides everywhere the mirrors it's, yeah exactly it's amazing that's how you know when they put carbon fiber on the mirrors that's you know they just got extra money to spend in options. Pretty much. Which is fine. Yeah. And on the hood, you've got big scoops. Yeah, they're massive. You gotta look up a bit to see them, but man. They actually probably need them. They're functional for cooling because this thing is so big and heavy and it needs to be cooled down. This may come as a disappointment to you. I don't like this color. I like it in person, but it's hard to film. I think it's a perfect color if you want to be flashy, but your job doesn't allow it. Ooh, that's a good way to like put it. Like if you're an accountant. Yeah, yeah. You can't just show up places in like a bright orange car. Imagine if they had this in uh, ultra blue, like from the F-Type. Yeah, because then they know exactly. you're giving them a run for their money. But this is like, uh... I don't know, man. This thing's pretty ostentatious. You're not kidding anyone with a carbon fiber hood. <laughs> yeah, but some people won't notice that. But everyone will notice like bright orange. We'll hear it. You can turn the exhaust off then. <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this guy's car sounds bad. But I want to give, give him, him a, some more business. I want to give him a big shout out for that exhaust because while they are fake tips, they're so real because they connected the pipes to those fake exhaust tips and they look amazing. It's just like the F-Type SVR. Exactly. I really like the wheels too. They fit the car so well. You can get them in not black, but you got to get them in black. And those calipers, they're huge. The front calipers are massive. It's got those really awesome Land Rover headlights. Yeah, they look perfect. And the taillights are super cool as well. It's nice and dark, but when you hit the lights, it's a bunch of little circles. And then when you put on your turn signal, it's like a little line that goes around them. They look great. Definitely my favorite Land Rover taillights. Anything else with the looks? Not about the looks, but the doors specifically, they are soft closed doors, because that's an option. These don't have handles that come out all fancy like the Velar, do they? No, no, they do not. This is probably an expensive SUV, isn't it? Very expensive. How expensive? 132,000 to start. Canadian? This one is $154,770. That's less than the F-Type SVR. Exactly, which is pretty crazy. And it's got more seats, it's bigger, and it's got more stuff going on. The amount of car that you get for your dollar compared to the F-Type, this is way more. But for speed compared to a uh, Trackhawk? Yeah, this is less. Yeah, but this is more fancy. This is higher cost, but slower. So would you recommend this SUV? Yes. For for anyone, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely for anyone that can afford this. Because it's super cool. It's the coolest SUV ever. Is it the coolest SUV we've driven so far? Yes. What do you think is cooler than this? Uh, possibly the Trackhawk. The Urus? Maybe that too. Def definitely the Urus. Yeah, maybe. So if you want to see us review more high horsepower luxury SUVs, let us know which ones in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, notification bell, patreon.com slash straightpipes, and sponsor us. And Vincero watches. That's right. Number Vincero. one thing to do. Do it. Buy a Vincero watch. Vincero. Coupon code right here. Vincero. I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive. <laughs>